the Kardashians. I know, I know. Everybody talking good about them. Everybody talking bad about them. Here's a family who is extremely famous because of a video that a chick made with Ray J. Or at least that's what some people want y'all to think. Their mom is a marketing genius. She capitalized on everything. Any type of fame, any type of notoriety, she capitalized on it. She put it out there for the masses and for everybody to see. So she's created this billion dollar business franchise called the Kardashians. And you can't be mad at them. I think the, the even Rob came out with some park, small clothing line and that made money. You know what I mean? And, you know, when I speak to women about the one Kardashian, uh, you know, Kanye's wife, I won't say her name. But, uh, no, nah, I'm going to say it. Kim Kardashian. When I ask girls about her, you always got two sides to the fence. You got girls who say, oh, she a hoe. She ain't nothing. She ain't this. I can't call her a hoe. I can't. Because everybody that she's been with, she's been in a relationship with. Only she's made her relationships public. She may she may have went through a little, you know, a couple growing spurts and done some things that were not ordinary or not normal. But, you know what I mean? She deals with... Men of abundance. Usually men have money and are rich and successful in a certain way. She gets involved with those type of guys. And maybe some of you out there should take that, that same road, that advice. Deal with people who are going to benefit you. You know what I'm saying? Instead of people who are going to suppress you and make you deal with a bunch of shit. I mean, that's just my personal view on things. You know what I mean? I got sisters, so I look at it like that. If you're going to... If you're going to be in a relationship with somebody, at least, you know, be be in a situation where y'all going to benefit from one another or help one another and build in a nutshell. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, I, I, I'm just impressed with their mom. I think I think their mom is just she's no joke. Man. She's made this family stupid rich. You know, as far as what I from what I heard, you know what I mean? And I see the little business savvy. They open clothing lines. They They capitalize on everything they do. And they cre created this celebrity out of thin air almost. They're not singers. They're not dancers. They're not performers. So what is it? They're pretty girls, but they're not the most beautiful girls in the world. They get butt enhancements, lip enhancements, injections, and just as much they have insecurities like any other woman. But they put their life on front street. You know what I'm saying? All for the Chizak. You know? And they, they've created perfumes and... And, and clothing lines and stores, TV shows, records. Um, they married rich, successful people, you know. And you can't knock them looking as looking at their family like a business, because most people should. You should look at your family like a business. Why not? It is, isn't it? But I, I, that's just my personal view on things. I think people give them give them a hard rap because they're not they're not the most talented people in the planet. But um, they know how to pick them, and they know how to stay relevant. Whether it's done on purpose or not, I mean, some things look a little you know set up, you know. But they're always thinking about how they can monetize off something and 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 create wealth. And I can't knock them for that. You know, you got people calling them devil worshippers and all types of shit. They get a lot of flack for just being a family that can generate mass amounts of revenue. I guess people are hating. In a nutshell, y'all got haters. Kardashians, y'all got haters, man. You know what I mean? And um, pretty girls. I mean, you can say what you want about them. They're not, it's not an ugly family shit. Y'all mama fine. You know? <laughs> but uh, I'm just being honest. You know what I'm saying? I just think they get a lot of flack. Based on their their inability to uh, to uh, be what we would consider somebody, you know, rich and famous, you know, they they they're not talented. Period. But um, they're talented at one thing, and that's marketing. They can sell the hell out of it, and um, themselves. I mean, they they. I don't know if it's the mom or if it's the Chloe or the or the other one. I don't know all the names, but either way, I don't know. Whoever's doing it is doing it right. 
a lot of weird stuff going on. I mean, when the dude chopped his joint off and became a chick, and talking about how he's beautiful and all that, y'all, y'all, y'all tripping, you guys. Man, man in his mid sixties, going on the seventies, y'all calling him beautiful. Like y'all need to stop with that, man. Y'all need to stop. Y'all need to stop. Uh, I have no problem with anybody doing whatever they want to do and changing their lives and and things of that nature. But let me sit around here calling no man beautiful. You know what I'm saying? It's okay to be a man when somebody questions your manhood. You know what I'm saying? You know, you'll be a man when somebody puts threatens your daughter or something like that. You'll step up as a man then. You know what I mean? But you know, but, you know, but you want to be a woman like you know, address me as a woman like, dude, stop. But anyway, that, that's that's my frame of mind. I, I ain't got no problems with nobody doing what they want to do. Honestly, I don't. But yeah, you know, weird stuff going on over there. But uh, either way, um, that's my little rant on that. Holla at me next time. I'll think of something else. <laughs>